know, for school kids, homework can be a drag. But not for the young people you're about to meet. They're not just learning reading and writing, but singing and rocking. Yuki Washington has the story in this week's Brotherly Love. Inside a church in Fishtown, you can feel the noise. It's a noisy place, definitely. Welcome to Rock to the Future, a free after-school program for underprivileged students ages 9 to 17. I wanted to play guitar. They agree to meet every afternoon for lessons. They also learn how to read sheet music. What's the nickname for the treble clef? Richard. G-clef. The G-clef. They learn all sorts of instruments. <laughs> and work together to form their own bands. I know how to read notes and I can play them on the fretboard and everything. Philadelphia musician Jessica Kraft founded Rock to the Future. She used to work at an investment firm, but she saw too many children growing up without the music she had in school. So I was in the drum line and the orchestra and the jazz band. That's why I decided to leave my corporate job Took a pay cut, you know, a drastic pay cut. The goal is not just musical, right. it's educational. Research pr proves that um, music education actually increases grades, standardized test scores. It's helped my grades go up a lot. I'm advanced in math and proficient in reading, and I was never that high. Jessica Kraft started with 13 students three years ago. Now it's up to 33. For the first time, Jessica has enough sponsorship to draw a salary for herself and her staff. And that means more success stories. I thought I could never be like musical, but I like learned that I can. And you can help rock to the future with its mission to reach even more children. Check out our website at cbsphilly.com slash brotherly love for more information. I'm Yuki Washington, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.